was one of those days which would make everyone back home sick with envy. Uh, after about an hour of sailing on the sea and some snorkeling, we docked in a remote little restaurant which was about 100 yards from the shore in a place called Nevis, which is the sister island of St Kitts. And it was absolutely paradise, uh, with no exceptions whatsoever. We went into this most beautiful little restaurant where uh, the Cryptologic Network, particularly that was poker.com, laid on a great buffet. Um, so we got stuck into some grub. The chef had made the most amazing jerk chicken on open flame barbecue. There was smoke, there was palm trees, there was rum. I really couldn't have asked for anything more. Everyone was in great spirits uh, on the beach. After about 45 minutes of eating and drinking, um, some guys turned up with water sports facilities like jet skis. And we, obviously, being adventurous types we are, got involved seriously. Matt Damon, um, or I mean, Welcome to St. Kitts. Was jet skiing. Ruri, my good man across there, was jet skiing. I even had a little go really really powerful I think Ruri took a slip about 30 miles an hour and went flying off which was funny the other great things about that little island in particular was from out of nowhere like a James Bond film three people rocked up on horses just across the sand and we got some great footage we also took some pretty cool little uh, pretty cool postcard video moments with the people <laughs> from littlewoodspoker.com and they got the chance to slag off the people back home who weren't there and basically just make them jealous as hell after about an hour and 45 minutes on the island, we redocked the catamaran, it turned around and we, uh, we sailed home. And at that point, everyone was pretty drunk, pretty full up and suffering from sunstroke. So the, we took a little time out and we got the mattresses out on the meshing of the catamaran and had a little snooze, which was pretty cool. After about 25 minutes or whatnot, the, uh, the crew turned up the reggae, got us all up, gave us another drink and we had a bit of a party. Um, just as the sun was setting, which was absolutely stunning. The general consensus was that littlewoodspoker.com had put on a fantastic day out. The uh, ship was great, the food was fantastic, the place was like paradise and the crew, were f the crew were also brilliant. I think I can say on behalf of everyone that took part in the excursion that littlewoodspoker.com put on a great day and I'm pretty sure we'll all be back next year. As you'd expect though from a bunch of poker players, no matter how tired they were and everyone was pretty knackered, there was still a little space for a bit of gamble. And the word on the ship was that everyone was going to get back, have a shower, have a little bit of bite tea and then get straight to the card room for some high stakes action, which I believe they all did.